no choke. It's carbureted, so you have to hold the throttle slightly just to keep the idle up until it warms up. It doesn't have an automatic choke, which normally would have a little idle kick up solenoid or something. I had a guy that was saying it sounds like his Hawk has a little bit of a miss to it, but they kind of all do that. I don't know if it's because it's carbureted or. So, what's up, fellow Hawkers? Got a few things to talk about today. You take a ride over to V's house. He picked up a DR650 project bike. He's gonna be working on it. I haven't seen it yet. He picked it up, I don't know, about a month ago. So, I checked that out. I'll probably wake him up. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to talk about was a guy just bought a brand new Hawk. Didn't put many miles on it. And the rear studs that hold on the rear sprocket worked themselves out all the way to the swing arm and locked up the rear tire on him. Needless to say, it made a mess. Thankfully, he didn't get hurt. The place he bought it from is making good on all the parts to replace all the damaged parts. Now, I don't know, I, I haven't taken the studs out that hold the rear sprocket on myself. I see they have little flats on it. He said they're pressed in, but I would imagine that they're threaded in. And they should have Loctite on them. I'm gonna have to talk to him and investigate a little further into that. But that would definitely be something that, you know, would be hazardous. That's why you check all the bolts, you know, you, you don't you check those bolts too, but if they work themselves out, not much you can do about that because that's not the actual nut that holds the sprocket on. So he's gonna keep me posted on all his updates. 65 degrees here, it's supposed to get up to almost 80 today, where I am in Connecticut. I, I'm actually in New York now. You really got to be careful nowadays with distracted drivers on cell phones and all that stuff. It makes it way more dangerous for us guys riding a bike. There's a lot of people that are thinking about buying a Hawk. They've never driven any kind of manual transmission. Asking how hard it is to actually learn the clutch and shift and all that possibly do a instructional video on that. I know it's kind of going backwards, but you don't really think about it because I've been riding bikes forever. I think I better stop and get some fuel. Or I'll just keep going. I have reserve. I've had quite a few people asking if I'm going to do a ride again this year. I do definitely want to do another ride. Last year was fun. We had a few people. It's hard to coordinate a good time. Oh, I feel like waving that guy because I'm always driving my Jeep. The Jeep wave. I always get out of the way for the vehicle. Yeah, keep texting, asshole. I was just talking about that, wasn't I? Ah, the old golf course. My favorite movies, Caddyshack. Oh, Rodney Dangerfield is definitely one of my favorite comedians too. We got the real mowers going. Hey, I know that guy. Man, I love riding. I envy you guys that have riding all year round. My only thing is I, I love the mountains. I've lived in Florida. So wherever I move, which I probably never end up moving, but if I buy a piece of property somewhere, it's gotta have mountains and trees. When I drove cross country and hit the Midwest, man, that was just too much flat. You can see for miles. It feels like you have no privacy. been down this road since last fall. Well, a little muddy. A little, a little brief.
branchy too. Ooh, tree stump. A trail I've never been on. Culvert ain't working. Muddy. There goes my Walmart shoes. Charge up the ZX10 battery, and it's no good. Totally totally dead so I ordered a new battery for the ZX10 that should be in next couple days I like the ZX10 but I gotta be honest I love being able to go on and off road I know I've said it before repeating myself My youngest son, Zenmus, is looking for a Project C3 Corvette. I'm looking on Craigslist and eBay and all that. Try to pick something up for about four or five grand. Something that's not major. You know, maybe some interior, some light, you know, cosmetic. So we'll see. It'll be a fun project and I'll do a review on it. sleeping ten thirty V looks like no hawk time for V he rather sleep yeah what am I gonna do I actually had a couple people that were saying that after they ride it and they're going fast runs out of fuel starts starving for fuel I believe it's the little vent inside here because they I told them try loosening the gas cap and see if it comes back or if you hear pressure because there's a little spring in there that's supposed to let the air in as the fuel goes down so it doesn't have a little vacuum lock <laughs> That's a GTR. Nitro V Power. <laughs> I'm kidding. Double the birdie. This is V's favorite place, but he never brings me here. Craters want to kill the dinosaurs. <laughs> 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 <laughs>